everybody, <clears throat> I'm back for another video. Let's start with the most unique thing to my planning system. This little beauty right here. This is a Filofax Domino in the uh, Domino Soft, I think that's what it says, Domino Soft Pocket Organizer. It, this is in the fawn color. So I have been using a pocket ring for the last month and a half for my personal planning. Normally what I have in this, this is just um, one of those credit card sleeves. Uh, I just cut one of the ones, one of them off of it. I think it normally has like six of these. I put my ID, my, my debit card, and like uh, insurance and AAA, and I just slide it in this pocket because the Domino Soft doesn't have the cards here like the regular Domino has. Um, <clears throat> this is half of a Midori passport uh, zipper pouch, and so I just keep cash in that. So I have a dashboard that I made with Coco Daisy washi tape, three different types of Coco Daisy washi, in which I keep some post-it notes on. And then everything in here is Coco Daisy or Peanuts Planner Co. So I have um, a dashboard that I made, and then this is the monthly calendar, the month on two pages from Peanuts Planner Co. I got it uh, for free on her Facebook group. I will link her webpage and her Facebook group down below. Um, <clears throat> so there's that, and I have the rest of the year. There's October, November, December, and then these, this is from September of last year, Coco Daisy, where I just cut it down. These are some pages I have up here for some notes. If I need them, I just cut them down. Now here is last week. <clears throat> I'm using the Peanuts Planner Co. week on two pages, and it's I printed double of the, the fold out in case I needed the extra space. But then I also used some of the Coco Daisy pages for keeping uh, notes or running to-do lists or some things that I needed to purchase. And there's it has um, a check a, a check box for keeping track of your weekly goals or whatever you're trying to track. And here we are this week. And I wanted to try something a little bit differently because this is like a, a good spot for like putting appointments. And this is great for uh, weekly tracking of like certain things that you have to do. But this is one of her inserts and I can never remember the numbers. <laughs> like DR095 maybe? I think this is 95. Two days on a page where this is what it looks like unfilled out. So you've got one day, two days, and so what I've been doing is on each day when I have more to do, I've been doing that. And then, you know, if you have a day where you don't need one, you know, don't fill it out. Use that on the next day you have something. So I just put a couple in there. And then this is the um, Coco Days, some more of the Coco Daisy for notes and other stuff. I just thought they all looked cute, so I put them in there. And there's the rest of the week. And they're totally undated, so you can make this a Sunday start, you can make it a Monday start, you can make it whatever you need. And so I've got the rest of those for the month. We've been tracking our grocery spending to see how much money we're really spending when we go to the grocery store. So every time we go, we have a list and then I write down how much it is and make sure it balances with our receipt. Um, so, and then I have extra grid paper here, some more of those two days on a page, and then even some of these monthly ones, which I'm thinking of using one of these to track our bills for each month, um, since it's so small. And then there's just notes back here for something I'm designing. And then our 
I showed this a couple of the last couple of months. It's something that I used scraps for, and then I'm keeping track of my students and what they're working on, what day and time their lessons are, and they each get one sheet. And then also like students that needed to register for lessons this semester. And then I have some of the Coco Daisy um, pad paper at the end, my um, uh, stencils from Hobonichi, and my Midori writing board. And this is my Weight Watchers book, which will go in another one of these. So that's really what I have in there. And this is a Coletto, High Tech C Coletto. It's the Coletto Lumio pen from a few years ago. And it's the newer one that has the easier open. So, so that's this has been my everyday carry that I've been using. My Filofax, and I'm loving the rings. I, I've tried personal, I've tried A5, and it, it, they never work. But I've been in this now for over six weeks, and I love it. So the next thing that I'm using is this. This is a Sojourner uh, by Rowena at. Uh, SojournerUSA.net, and I will link her down below. This is kind of a special thing that I asked her to make for me. It is the standard Midori size. This is the Roadrunner leather, and you'll see it has just a single elastic, and I actually put the clasp on. I untied the, the knot that she had, and I had um, an extra Midori clasp. And so I put that on myself. Um, and so I love the single elastic in this size. And so whoop, there goes one of my stencils. Um, so you can see it's just a single elastic. And what I have in here is actually quite a bit. I have, this is the um, Midori pouch. And that's a Courtney Diaz Little Raven Ink um, printable from her Patreon that I laminated. So I've got the Midori pouch some Coco Daisy. I have a Midori uh, craft folder with a um, pen loop, one of the Leuchtturm pen loops. This is a grid notebook on um, Tomoe River, in the white Tomoe River. Then I have, this is a Peaky Dory Design uh, dot grid on um, this is the um, Rhodia paper, which I think might be the Claire Fontaine paper, the Rhodia dot grid. This is one that I made. Um, I had a customer ask for some dot grid with the Rhodia, and so I did that for them. This is the Farouf zipper pouch, where I've got some extra elastics and post-its and tabs, and my stencils here. This is another one of the um, grid Tomoe River Taroko design inserts, and I've been keeping track of some orders uh, that I've been doing in there. And then I'm not sure what I have in here. Oh, I've got another stencil and some more elastics, <laughs> just in case I need them. So this is my Peaky Dory design notebook, and I'm loving it because it's my favorite, favorite leather. Now, the next one, this is a Foxy Fix I got from the mystery sale. It is the Hobonichi cover in the A5 size, and this is the sugar leather in the blueberry color. This came in the mystery sale, so it was, I have no idea what I was getting, and this has become one of my favorite notebooks. I It's a leather I never would have picked for myself, um, and it's a color I never would have picked. Usually I, you can see I stick to the browns and reds, more more neutrals, but I am loving this. You can see blue actually is one of my favorite colors, um, but I've been using this for um, journaling, for doing some artwork. I worked through the two new Jane Davenport books, and these were some things that I was inspired by in there. I tried to, she has something very similar to this. The girl's a little bit smaller and the, <laughs> anyways, this is my take on the Paris girl. Um, and I've got, you know, samples of new watercolors and pencils and some just pencil and ink drawings and some sample 
that I tried to do. Um, so I've got that in here. And these are actually the four notebooks. I've got four of these A5 Tomoe River um, inserts that I've used this summer. That's James Blake inspired. Let's see, that's Courtney Diaz. That's James Blake. Some journaling. That's his calendar I decided to color and then come to find out he did the same thing too. This was the next calendar and I tried to draw some of his little girls. <laughs> and this, I tried to draw one of his drawings and not, not too bad. His was much more fancy than mine. And then I drew some things from my childhood, some Smurfs and Snorks and Strawberry Shortcakes. And then I had a whole period of time where I did um, Winnie the Pooh type stuff. Let's see, where's all that? No, that's back in this one. Um, oh, what's his name? Ralph. Uh, where are they? Yeah, I did a bunch of Winnie the Poohs because the Winnie the Pooh movie came out. I had fun doing all of those. I was kind of Winnie the Pooh crazy for a week or so. And then some Pokemans and stuff. Um, that's James Blake, washi tape, Courtney Diaz, and these are, um, the ones at the top and the bottom are Keely Reichman, that's my little, um, Huckleberry Pie. These are Burgess Taylor for her Patreon. These are, um, stickers, uh, printable that we got. I did a, a, the original Grumpy Bear because I saw people posting Grumpy Bear photos and I'm like, that's not Grumpy Bear, this is Grumpy Bear. Um, just some weird Tim Holtz stuff I did. Um, I did some coffee cups. I might turn these into stickers or something. That's some more of Burgess Taylor's stuff that is wonderful. This is my version of pumpkin spice. <laughs> and I was trying to draw some fall things. Those are Burgess Taylors and that's James Blake. I was drawing my favorite Sanrio characters and then I was trying to do some more fall things. This was one of the last things that I've done. And I spent a lot of time on it. I spent a whole day on it, and I'm very happy with the way it turned out. So that's what I've been using this one for. It's been holding all of my journaling and my art journaling, and it's something I never would have picked, but I love, I'm love. i loving it. And the last notebook that I have here, this is an A5 in the dark brown. In the, It's dark brown by Galen Leathers. They're from Turk, but this has become my Weight Watchers um, note. But I'm excited because I've lost, you know, 22.8 pounds the last month, and it's from following Weight Watchers. And so this has become a an important um, notebook for me. So it's, it's become an important notebook. I haven't... Um, I'm wanting to put a, a little journal in it so I can, you know, track my results and what I'm thinking. But I've been doing some of that stuff in, in here with my artwork and I haven't decided where do I want to put that stuff. So I know that's a quick run through of what I've been using, but I've really been loving all of these notebooks. And these have been my four companions for the last six weeks and that's the longest that I've, <laughs> you guys know me, you know my love for traveler's notebooks and stuff, um, but for me to stick with something that long, that says something. I will link every shop below that was mentioned in the description. Let us know, let me know what you're using for your fall setup. Um, are you like me and have like a personal, a work, and then like an art journal? Do you do it all in one? Do you separate those things? How do you do it? Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.